Hello, this is Jim McKeith, developer evangelist for Realm Object Software. Today I'm going to give you a quick introduction to building Windows 8 Metro apps using Oxygen for .NET and Visual Studio 11. You see here I have Visual Studio 11 beta running inside Windows 8 Consumer Preview. You can tell it's the Consumer Preview because I have no start button, but I move all the way in the corner here. There it is right there. It's like a single pixel or two pixels wide. It's very small. You can get to the start screen. And then back to the desktop. So let's go ahead and do a new project. You're going to see, in addition to the usual templates available here under Oxygen for .NET, I also have a new Metro group here. Inside there, I can choose a regular Metro application, a grid application, or a Metro class library. We're going to go ahead and stick to a Metro application here and just say... Oxygen Metro 1. This has opened our new project up here, and Metro is based on XAML, so I'm going to go here to the main page XAML, and I'm just going to put down a text box, which is let's use your intertext, a little button here they can click, and a text block, which is just display some text. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the font size on all of these. And line that back up there. Now by default in here, these items that I've added don't have names. So if you look over here in the uh, property screen, you see the name is, says no name. And so that means you can't reference it from code. But since I want to be able to reference these from code to get the value out of here, I'm going to call this one intertext and this one. displayed text. Now the button, I don't have to give it a name because I'm never actually going to reference it from code, but I do want to handle the click event, and so I'm going to do that by just double clicking on the button here. And then it takes me in here, creates a button click event handler, and I can come in here and add some text. Displayed text dot text equals entered text dot And that should be ready to run. Now Metro apps run full screen. This is the loading screen and here's our app. It's up and running. And I can come in here and type hello, hit the button and it displays it down there. So nice little simple Metro app. If you wanna go back to Visual Studio, it's up here in the corner. You can actually also take this and do the a partial view, although it works better if you're doing Metro apps instead of desktop apps. Desktop is apps that just shows you the different apps. This is for debugging purposes here for my Metro app. But if you had other Metro apps, they could you could take one of those and mount it here on the side and have this partial view and then get rid of it and go back to the view you're on before. Also, if we go to our home screen, we'll see that we now have our new oxygen powered Metro app it gets automatically added to the home screen. So there you go. Um, little short introduction to Metro app development using Oxygen for .NET and Visual Studio 2011. What you saw running here was a development build of Oxygen for .NET. This functionality will soon be available in the gamma builds and beta builds of Oxygen for .NET. If you'd like to get access to those builds, the first thing you need to do is register your Prism XE2 serial number at remobjects.com slash oxygen slash register serial. And what that does is that gives you access to the beta and gamma builds directly from us, Rem Objects, as well as the opportunity to get support from Rem Objects. Once you've done that, then you can visit beta.remobjects.com and follow the links from there to download the beta and gamma builds of Oxygen for .NET.